Salvia hispanica, commonly known as Chia, is a species of flowering plant in the mint family, Lamiaceae, native to central and southern Mexico and Guatemala. The 16th century Codex Mendoza provides evidence that it was cultivated by the Aztec in pre Columbian times. Economic historians have suggested it was as important as maize as a food crop. It is still used in Paraguay, Bolivia, Argentina, Mexico, and Guatemala sometimes with the seeds ground or with whole seeds used for nutritious drinks and as a food source. Etymology, the word kaya is derived from the Nahuatl word kayan, meaning oily. The present Mexican state of Chiapas received its name from the Nahuatl kaya water, or kaya river. It is one of two plants known as kaya, the other being Salvia columbariae, which is more commonly known as the golden kaya. Description Kaya is an annual herb growing up to 1 a.m. tall, with opposite leaves that are 4 a euro 8 a cm long and 3 a euro 5 a cm wide. Its flowers are purple or white and are produced in numerous clusters in a spike at the end of each stem. Kaya is hardy from USDA zones 9 to 12. Many plants cultivated as S. hispanica are actually S. lavandulifolia. Seeds Kaya is grown commercially for its seed a food that is rich in omega-3 fatty acids, since the seeds yield 25 a euro 30% extractable oil, including I plus or minus linolenic acid. Of total fat, the composition of the oil can be 55% AI per mil-3, 18% AI per mil-6, 6% AI per mil-9 and 10% saturated fat. Kaya seeds are typically small ovals with a diameter of about 1 ohm. They are mottled colored with brown, gray, black and white. The seeds are hydrophilic, absorbing up to 12 times their weight in liquid when soaked. While soaking, the seeds develop a mucilaginous gel-like coating that gives kaya-based beverages a distinctive texture. Kaya seed is traditionally consumed in Mexico, and the southwestern United States, but is not widely known in Europe. Kaya has mostly been identified as Salvia Hispanica L today, Kaya is grown commercially in its native Mexico, and in Bolivia, Argentina, Ecuador, Nicaragua, Guatemala, and Australia. In 2008, Australia was the world's largest producer of kaya. A similar species, Salvia columbariae or golden kaya, is used in the same way but is not grown commercially for food. Salvia hispanica seed is marketed most often under its common name kaya, but also under several trademarks. Nutrient content and food uses, according to the USDA, a one-ounce serving of kaya seeds contains 9 grams of fat, 5 milligrams of sodium, 11 grams of dietary fiber, 4 grams of protein, 18% of the recommended daily intake of calcium, 27% phosphorus and 30% manganese. These nutrient values are similar to other edible seeds, such as flax or sesame. In 2009, the European Union approved kaya seeds as a novel food, allowing up to 5% of a bread product's total matter. Kaya seeds may be added to other foods as a topping or put into smoothies, breakfast cereals, energy bars, yogurt, made into a gelatin-like substance, or consumed raw. Preliminary health research, although preliminary research indicates potential for health benefits from consuming kaya seeds. This work remains sparse and inconclusive. One pilot study found that 10 weeks ingestion of 25 grams per day of milled kaya seeds, compared to intact seeds, produced higher blood levels of alpha-linolenic acid and acosapentaenoic acid, an omega-3 long-chain fatty acid considered good for the heart, while having no effect on inflammation or disease risk factors. Mesoamerican usage S. Hispanica is described and pictured in the Mendoza Codex and the Florentine Codex, 16th century Aztec codices created between 1540 and 1585. Both describe and picture Salvia Hispanica and its usage by the Aztec. The Mendoza Codex indicates that the plant was widely cultivated and given as tribute in 21 of the 38 Aztec provincial states. Economic historians suggest that it was a staple food that was as widely used as maize. Aztec tribute records from the Mendoza Codex, Matricula de Tributos, 
and the Matricula de Huix et Cinco Euro along with colonial cultivation reports and linguistic studies a Euro give detail to the geographic location of the tributes, and provide some geographic specificity to the main S Hispanica growing regions. Most of the provinces grew the plant, except for areas of lowland coastal tropics and desert. The traditional area of cultivation was in a distinct area that covered parts of north-central Mexico south to Nicaragua. A second and separate area of cultivation, apparently pre-Columbian, was in southern Honduras and Nicaragua. Decorative and novelty uses In the United States, the first substantial wave of kaya seed sales were tied to kaya pets in the 1980s. These pets come in the form of clay figures that serve as a base for a sticky paste of kaya seeds. The figures are then watered and the seeds sprout in a form suggesting the figures fur. About 500,000 kaya pets a year are sold in the U.S. as novelties or house plants. References